Hey friends, it's Lee with the Turquoise Valentine, and I'm excited to be back after missing a whole week of not being live. So, if you're watching replay, just tell us below, uh, hashtag replay, and I'm glad you're here watching. <clears throat> I hope you enjoy this, and I'm excited to be back. There's my friend hopping on. I'm so excited to be back, y'all. I'm so excited. I missed everybody. I missed doing this. It's not fun being down and you can't craft. Hey, Carla. Hey, Claudia. I know I missed y'all. It's not fun not to be able to create and have to be good and lay on the couch. <laughs> Yay, Bertha. I'm glad to be back too. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Hey, Teresa and Wendy. I know I missed y'all so bad. I was... You know, when you can't do anything, it's like you want to, you have all these ideas that you need to do and you can't do them and uh, it's not fun. I'm taking care of myself. Hey, Brenda and Norma and Heather. Yay. I am feeling better. Um, I'm not a, still a hundred percent like, uh, you know, um, cause they told me it would take seven to 10 days or so before I could get the full effects of the nerve block. So, um, Hey, thank you, Rosie and Cherise. Hey, I'm so glad y'all are all here. I'm just taking the canvas part off of this frame of this um, Dollar Tree canvas while we're sitting here chatting. Hey, Becky, yes, I'm, I'm better. Um, I'm not, you know, fully well, but <laughs> I'm going to get there. Yay, Peggy, I'm glad y'all are here. I'm glad to see y'all too. Y'all just don't know. <laughs> Y'all just don't know. Hey, Angie. Yay. Glad you're here, too. Hey, Rhonda. All my friends and Darlene. Yes, thank you very much. I am. I'm better, but, I mean, I still have my moments where I hurt, but um, they told me it would take, you know, seven to ten days to get the full effect of it, so I'm trying to be patient. I'm trying to be good. Um... Thank you, Chelsea. Hey, Linda. I'm glad y'all are here to watch, and we're going to do something super fun. Um, I got to prep some of this today. Hey, Laurie. Thank you. Yay, Martha. Thank you. Thank you, Kathy. Uh, oh, my goodness. Got bronchitis. Goodness gracious. That's miserable. Okay. Looks like a piece of the... Well, that's just, uh, look at that. That, like, totally, look at that nail. <laughs> I'm like, okay, that just, like, messed up my whole craft. <laughs> you open it up, and you get, they shot the nail through there. Look, the nail went through there and missed and came out the front, and I didn't know it till I take this off. So, what do you do then? You go to number two. <laughs> So now I'm gonna take it off another one. Um, thank you, Connie. That was crazy. So now I'm gonna take it off another one because my frame is messed up. Um, Nori, no, it's not better for me to stand and craft. No, <laughs> not at all. Um, thank y'all very much. Okay, so now I'm gonna start taking the back off this one because the first one had a little defect after I took it off. So we're gonna take this one off. And while we're chit-chatting, thank you, Sandy. Yes, I'm, I'm better. I'm not, you know, 100%, but I've just, I'm just gotta wait till it takes full effect and hopefully it's gonna be okay and I won't have to have another one, but if I have to have another one, I just have to have another one, but. Um, thank you, Beverly and BJ. Y'all are so sweet. I appreciate y'all being here and watching and supporting and hanging in there with me while I was down and out. Um, yeah, I hope I'm on the road to recovery, but, um, uh, <clears throat> I was, I felt really good after the nerve block, but, you know, they give you that numbing medicine and stuff. Hey, Judy. Um, hey, Tammy. The, um, you know, that the lidocaine is still in there. So, you know, everything was feeling really good then. 
But, you know, it's starting to hurt back a little bit. But they said that the steroid that they put in there has got to do its thing. So it takes several days. Um, yay, Laurie got her gnomes today. Um, so we are going to do something cool tonight. I've already prepped, uh, part, well, I've already done one because what we're going to do, part of it has to dry. Um, so it has to dry pretty much, it took pretty much all day for it to dry. So, um, so it's kind of, this is kind of like a two-parter, two-step craft. Uh-oh. Pulling that staple out that's holding the corners together. I hope that doesn't matter. Whoop. Maybe not. Okay. So all I did, <laughs> so if y'all missed the first one, I took the canvas off of, uh, off a of Dollar Tree uh, canvas or took the, the part, the canvas part off and look, the nail went right through the frame and went through the front like that. So I had to, I had to start on another one. Um, what determined them giving me the nerve block? I, I did an MRI and it said I had a bulging disc. And I was having it going down my leg and the, the shooting pains and the just aching and the tingling. And they had already told me, he like did some tests in the office, like made me stand on one foot and bend over and stand up and all this stuff. And um, I couldn't do a toe raise, like stand on my toes on my right side. And I didn't realize I couldn't do it. Does that make sense? And then when he asked me to do it, I couldn't do it. My nerves wouldn't let me. So he was like, um, yeah, you've got a little nerve damage in your calf. So we need to do this like now. Um, so that's kind of how that went. And then I had an MRI and that showed what I needed to show and all that stuff. Um, hey, Gina. Yes, Kimberly, I'm trying to get better. It's getting better. Um, but you know, I have my moments. I still have to take my medicine and my Advil and that kind of stuff. And it still hurts, but it's, um, getting me, it's getting better. It's better than it was. Cause last week I was down for the count. I mean, I, I was like, I couldn't do anything and my poor family <laughs> having to take care of me. Okay. So I am trying to decide, I just hit this thing over here. I'm trying to decide what part to do first because this is going to be like a two-part thing. Like, I have to make part, and then we have to make another part. Does that make sense? So, I'm kind of thinking, do I want to do the messy part first? I think I'm going to do the messy part first. I just wanted to take this off. Um, so, you're going to need, if you're going to do this at some point, <laughs> you're going to need, this is a uh, canvas from Dollar Tree, and it was a, is it 8 by 10, maybe? Yes, no. Yes, 8 by 10 This is what I'm using. You can use whatever you want. Um, and we're going to use the big the big craft sticks, okay, with this. Y'all have seen me do that before. But, um, so we're going to do the messy part that I'm going to teach you how to do first. Um, thank you, Pauline. Thank you, Mary. I'm glad to see all of you too. Okay, so you're going to need some Spanish moss. And y'all, if you've been watching me at any point in time for a while... You know, this stuff right here drives me crazy, but we're going to make something really cool with it. Um, hey, Elizabeth. Hey, Lori. Oh, no. Lori, we'll be praying for you for that. Um, you're going to need some white school glue and some water, okay? So, you might already have guessed what it is I'm about to make. Um, but I've already made one, and it's already dried, And but I'm going to show you how to do it. So, this is very messy. Um, you can use Mod Podge, but this is just Dollar Tree school glue. Nothing fancy. Um, why is there something blue coming out? I guess part of, it looks like part of the cap came out in my, in my, um, glue. I don't know what that is. Anyway, so I just, this is just regular. You can use Elmer's. This is Dollar Tree, whatever you want to use. Um, hey, Deborah. Okay, so... I just put it in my little, these little punch cups. These are really cool to have um, just to put paint and stuff in. And I'm going to put, um, I'm going to put a little bit of water in my glue. And like I said, there's, 
no rhyme or reason or measurements or anything. I'm just kind of mixing it up. Hey, Pat. Um, says anybody can guess what we're going to do with this glue and this moss and this water. <laughs> Christine, ding, ding, ding. Christine, is it right? We're going to make a bird's nest. Um, and I'm going to show you how, how I did it today because I did it um, already today and let it dry because it did take... It did take a little while for it to dry. Yay, Marsha, I am. I'm doing better. Doing better. I'm not on the couch. Um, <laughs> it's capacitated, so yeah, I'm doing a lot better than I was. Last week was rough. Um, and it just got worse as the week went on, like, because they had given me steroids to take. And then, um, you know, when that started wearing off, of course, the pain started coming back because that helped with the pain. Um, I didn't have any school glue. Oh my goodness. Okay. So I've got it. You see how it's, it's how runny it is. It's, I just put a little water in it. Um, Hey Angela, it's good to see you too. Um, so I just, it's not really any measurements to it. I just kind of put some glue in there and a little bit of water and mixed it up to where it's not thick but it's not too thin. Hey, Christine. All right, so what you're gonna do is you are going to pull out some of your moss, okay? And like I told y'all, y'all know me, this stuff gets everywhere and it drives me crazy because it makes such a mess. All right, you got this, I'm gonna get some more. So you're gonna get however much you want to make your nest that you want to make, however big you want to make the nest. I've made, I've made little ones today. Um, this is a little bitty one. And then I have this one. So, um, see it all just kind of stays together. So you get as much moss as how big you want your nest to be. Does that make sense? It kind of makes sense. That it sort of makes sense, maybe. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna take my moss and then I'm going to take it and I'm going to put it into this stuff. The glue and the water. Hey, Deborah, I am good. So we're going to get the messy part of this craft out of the way first. <laughs> if you don't like getting your hands messy, this is probably not for you. <laughs> but you can wear gloves if you want to. Um, so I'm just kind of putting my moss down into my mixture and see it soaked it all up. Um... That and so I'm going to just kind of move it around and get all of it saturated. So I'm probably gonna have to make a little more because I feel like it's not enough. But you want to put something on your table because this makes a mess. Um, so I'm gonna put a little bit more glue because you don't. You don't want your nest to be wet, like ringing wet, but you want to get all of the moss coated with the glue. I don't know how I don't know how to say that any better than that, but um, you don't want it to where it's just dripping. Okay, so I'm mixing up a little more because I didn't mix up enough. All right. So see, it's see how runny it is. Y'all can kind of see. The consistency, it just rolls around in my cup. Um, all right, so now I'm going to... Karma, I did. I got it Friday. So I'm going to put my moss back down in here and get a little bit more on here. And kind of, I don't know, I'm kind of mixing it around as I go. Just to get all of the moss kind of... Um, hey, Debbie. Sandy, you could use Mod Podge. Um, I just didn't really want to use my Mod Podge and I had the school glue because the school glue is cheaper than Mod Podge. Um, but you can use Mod Podge, I'm sure, because it's not really much of a difference to me. It's not. But, um, okay. So, I'm just going to kind of sit here and work it through the moss and keep going, you know, getting it all kind of wet and saturated. Oh, thank you, Kathy. Okay, so I'm just, like I said, just work it around and, and, you know, get the glue all on your stuff, on your 
moss. But like I said, if I was to squeeze it, like none's going to come out. So it's not ringing wet, okay? But it is wet with glue and water, but it's not wet to the point to where you're going to squeeze out any liquid. Okay, so we got our little cup, and I'm going to use the same cup, and I'm going to show you. <clears throat> We're going to turn the little cup over, but now my smaller nest that I made today, um, I used the top of, of a paint bottle for one. I used this, and I used the actual top of my glue container for the little nest. So what you're going to do is you are going to just make a nest. You're going to form this how you want it to be. And just make it to like what a nest would look like. Kind of make a little indention in the middle like that. And just kind of just form it together. And like I said, this is seriously <laughs> messy. Um, so I'm going to, so I've got the little, you know, that's my little, um, and I, my little, it's like a cup, I guess is what I'm trying to say. And so I've got the inside part, you know, hollowed out like that. And then, so I'm going to just kind of lay it on top of my little punch cup. Okay. So it's going to dry. It looks like it's a, looks like my cup's got a little hair. <laughs> it looks like a little toupee for my punch cup. But anyway, so I'm going to let this dry. So today when I made the ones I've already made that are dry, after this dry, I turned on my ceiling fan and I let it dry. And then I flipped it over and I left that side dry because, you know, it's not going to get any air under here. So, but uh, let me get all this off my hands. Um, Carol, it took, um, I mean, it took a better part of the day to dry, but it's worth it because you want it to stay together and you want to get it so saturated to where it's going to stay together because it, you know, it'll tend to fall apart. Thank you, Karen. Um, but I made, because y'all know me, I can't just make one and be done. So this was the first one I made. And see, it's all staying together. I mean, there's a little bit, well, that was just stuck on the table. I did stick a little twig in there to see if it would stay, and it did. But, <clears throat> so here's my first one I made. And then after that, I said, well, I'm going to make a smaller one. So, I took my paint bottle, and I did this. So, it sat like that and dried today. So, it made a perfect little indention in the center, in the hole, or whatever, you know, the the part where the bird sits down. And I don't know what he's talking about. Yeah, it looks like I've been playing in the grass, doesn't it, Kaylee? And then this one, which needs to be trimmed. Um, hey, Kathy. You can't believe I made that. Um, so, this one looks like a little hummingbird nest, I guess. But see, it's, all, it's stiff. But I just took it and made a little hole with my finger. And then I did this. And that's how this one dried all day today. So, you can make them as big as you want to or as small as you want to. Um, like, this one's probably going to sit out here overnight tonight and it'll dry. But that's how it looks. <laughs> it looks like a wig for my punch cup. But anyway, <laughs> it's funny. So, anyway, I crack myself up sometimes. But there's our little bird nest, okay? And like I said, you don't want it to get so saturated to where it's dripping. Like if you squeeze it and glue comes out, because I the first, when I first started mixing the glue up on my nest, I got it too wet. And all I did was I took the, the moss and I took some paper towels and I just kind of soaked up some of, the, some of the liquid and it was fine. I just didn't want it so saturated to where you can actual see the glue. Y'all know what I'm saying. It, when it dries, you'd be able to see the glue in the fibers. And see, you can't see the glue. It's just all together. But the water helps it soak into the moss, I guess. So you don't have just glue. If you had just glue, you would see the glue. 
and it soaks into the moss, I guess. I guess that's what I'm trying to say. So here's our nest. Um, so that's how you make the nest. And they're so simple. I'm sure that y'all have moss in your, in your um, stash and Dollar Tree sells it. Walmart has it too. I know Joann's and Hobby Lobby and all the sorts, they have it too. But these, ne these little nests are big, so cute. And all of your little, um, on your tier trays, all of your little, you know, spring crafts or um, a wreath, this would be so stinking cute. So we're going to make this whole little um, cute little craft around this nest. I wonder if you put it outside a bird would, need, would use it. They might be like, oh, I've had a nest already made. <laughs> so that's how you make the nest part. But we're going to add some stuff to the nest, and we're going to actually put the nest on something and make a whole little thing with it. Okay. Well, Rexanne, you got to see the good part, which was the nest part. Because that was the part that y'all probably need. Um, Donna, we're making bird nests out of moss. I just showed how to make it with school glue and water and let it dry. <clears throat> Amy, this came from Walmart. Y'all got moss... <laughs> Got it all over me. Okay, so now I'm going to, um, <laughs> Becky, you never thought of that. Darlene, it's better. It's, it's a lot better than it was. Um, it's getting there. I'm getting there. Okay, so I'm going to, yes, yes, on twigs and stuff. Okay, so y'all just wait. <laughs> so I'm going to go ahead and paint my little, um, my canvas frame. Uh, oh, good. You bought some from the thrift store. That's good for two bucks. Um, I like moss. It just makes a mess, but I do love the way it looks. I think it's pretty and, you know, where it's needed, it's needed. You know, you just need it. <laughs> but I think it makes a cool little bird nest. Uh, so, um, I've been, uh, since I've been on the couch, <laughs> with my back and stuff. And it's like, I have all these ideas going through my head and I've been writing stuff down of stuff I'm gonna do live. Um, because I ha couldn't create anything or do anything. So I was just like, well, <laughs> I got this idea and this idea and this idea. <laughs> so I've been trying to brainstorm. Oh, Cindy just made her a little eggs with her nest so we are going to use some we're going to put eggs in it um and we're going to add some sticks and stuff to it and make it look a little bit more realistic but i think it's super cute the, the little just the nest itself and you can use it in so many different ways um in your crafting and spring stuff and just little vignettes and your tiered trays i think it would be super cute that nest um so I was like, well, I, I need to do one and I'm going to show them how to do it live. So, so yeah, I, I did it today and it dried. So I made it about, I don't know, 10 o'clock this morning, maybe. And it took, it took several hours under the fan, but to get it all the way dry through, all the way through, I'm sure it would dry overnight, no problem. And I kind of flipped mine halfway in between you know, so the other side would dry. Cindy, I do sometimes, I, um, yeah, I mean, I do plan them ahead of time, obviously, um, but I don't plan them out. Like, I go live Thursdays and, and Mondays. This coming Thursday, I have no idea yet what I'm doing. So, no, I don't plan them out that far in advance because I don't know what kind of mood I'm going to be in that day. To do, a, to do a craft. Now, sometimes I will, if I have a, couple, a few ideas lined up, um, I'll go ahead and get prepped and get all my stuff out for it. But most of the time, no. Like, I'll get it together that day. But most of the time, I already have an idea uh, in my head of something that I want to make or something I want to execute, you know, put into motion and like, I've been thinking about this for a while, and I want to get it done, or something like that. And so, I'll just come out here and find stuff I need to make it happen. 
pink one and no zipper. Yes, I'm feeling much better. I miss all of you so much. Chatting, um, my sheep, Harvey. Yeah, Harvey, his eyes are still laying back there. See, he don't have any eyes at the moment. Y'all saw me post about him. <laughs> um, that, that was hilarious when I came out here and I looked and his little eyeballs are, are laying right here. I was like, oh, bless it, Harvey. You, you done lost your eyes. You feel like I do. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to put my frame to the side and get all this off. Uh, Debbie, you're so sweet to say that. I am not. I am not. I just, I just have a brain that never shuts off and um, it, it just goes all the time. Yeah, crafting on the fly. Now, Carrie, I do some of that sometimes, but um, sometimes I don't. <laughs> Mary, we're making, I showed you how to make a bird nest out of moss and glue. And we're going to make a whole little craft around this bird nest. Um, Tracy, I don't. I don't put a time limit. It's like whatever it takes me to get it done, we'll do it. Um, anyway, so let's see now. Okay. So my frame is going to dry. And, well, I guess I got to dry it because I need to see how many of these I need. Um, yes, Mary, we had snow. We got four inches of snow um, Friday night. And I missed it because I was asleep on the couch because I went to sleep it. After my nerve lock, I went to sleep at like 6 o'clock and slept for like 12 hours because I really hadn't slept much last week at all and so when i finally got easy and my back wasn't hurting after the nerve block i came home and i went to bed i went to sleep okay so i'm just drying that really fast and i'm only gonna put one coat because i really doesn't matter if it you know the wood shows through it's fine with me and so now i'm going to See how many of these I need. These are the big ones. The big, they're super jumbo from Walmart is what these are. So there's like regular craft sticks and then they have super jumbo and then they have jumbo and they have all different sizes, but these are the super jumbo. So let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six. Uh oh that one's crooked. We can't use that one. Some of them don't fit together well, but because they're, they got a weird shape to them. So let's see. All right. So I need, this is an eight by 10 canvas frame. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So I'll need 10. Um, <clears throat> so this is drying or dry, it's dry, kind of dry. Um, thank you, Debbie. And as bad as I really don't want to sit here and paint these individually, I don't want them the same color as my frame, or I would just do that. But um, Thank you, Jolene. I missed y'all, too. Um, no, Maria, I'm not 100% pain-free. Um, they told me today, they called and checked on me, of course, and said that it would take um, like 7 to 10 days for me to get the full effect of it because they put a steroid in my back and then that has to do its, its job of cutting on the, cutting down the inflammation. So, I'm, uh, that, that's where I stand right now. I'm waiting for the seven to 10 days to pass. Thank goodness, oh my goodness, I'm ready for it to be over. All right, so I put, this is raw umber, burnt umber, whatever. And I'm, um, Patricia, you could use paint sticks, yes. Um, I'm just going to get some water and make me some stain. I just don't want my sticks to be the same color as my frame. So I'm doing them separately, unfortunately. But I know that's going to take longer, but I want it to look different. Judy, I don't know how often I can have it. Um, but, you know, like my husband had two done on his neck. Uh, several years ago and he's been fine and he hasn't ever had to have you know anything else done so I'm hoping that that's the case for me but I don't know 
All right, so I'm just gonna quickly try to stain my little sticks on one side. That way we won't be here all night waiting for them to dry. But, well, till the water goes on the underside. <laughs> Hold on. Let's see. Usually it's four to six weeks. Okay, that's good to know. So see, I've never, um, I've never had one before. This was my first time, but I, um, I was, I was nervous, but at the same time, I was kind of like, I don't care what you do. I'm just hurting and I need, I need you to do something to me. <laughs> so, um, I got over the fear of, you know, putting a needle in your back real quick. Like when you're hurting that bad, it's like, mm -mm. Because by the time they got, you know, they did it Friday, like I said, my steroids and stuff they had been giving me to help with everything had started to wear off. And so I was hurting pretty bad when I got there. Um, like I couldn't sit down in the waiting room. I was walking the floor. I was like, you know, I'm, if y'all could just, you know, I laid back there and cried big, waiting for them to get to me because I was just hurting so, so bad. See how pretty that is? So I'm just kind of staining them. Not worried about the back. Um, three over a couple of months. Yeah, I, I don't know. I go back and see them Friday, so I'm going to ask. Like, okay, what do we do if this, you know, how can how often can you have them and all that stuff. But, all right. There we go. Thought it was so cool. Yeah, I didn't watch much because they said... Um, that I laid on my stomach on the table and then they said, okay, well, we're going to give you something to relax you. And then he starts wiping off my back and, you know, and numbing it. He numbed it and I felt all that. And then the next thing I know, I, they were sitting me up on the stretcher and I was, they were like, okay, here's you something to drink. We're all done. And I'm like, <laughs> I don't know how they got me off that table, but, um, they did because <laughs> I didn't get up off that table. I don't remember anything after that. Any pain flurries? Wow, 26 years, I know. Well, mine's not ruptured, it's just hernia, you know, it's just bulging. So I'm grateful for that, but um, just one of those things, I turned 50 and my check engine light came on and here I am, so trying to deal with all that. Judy, this is raw umber and I didn't realize that I picked up raw umber until the other day I looked at it and I went, this is raw umber, so it's not burnt umber. It's just raw umber, but you can use whatever brown you want. I just picked it up, and um, can I glue a piece against the back? I'm going to glue them to the frame, and so I'm just going to stain them real quick first. And I know this is taking a long time, but I don't want it to be the same color as the frame and stain it all at one time. Does that make sense? I painted it white, so I wanted it white. Yeah, Nancy, it's okay. I can take it. I'm a tough girl. No, Terry, I didn't. I had it at Ortho South. That's where I had it done. Uh, all right. So, this is the last one. And these don't take long to dry. Y'all know we've done this so many times. Am I done with that? Yes, I am. Three times in two months and neither worked. Oh. I hope, I hope mine works. I'm scared. I'm scared to think that it won't work because I, I can't live like that. I was hurting so bad. Judy, yes. I'll probably, it's probably going to be like a bonus thing that I do when I do the stand-in gnome, the little gnome. Yay, Wendy, I'm glad you're here. Okay, let's see. I'm going to wipe. They're not completely dry, but... We're going to go ahead and start gluing them down. You just wipe some of this off. All right. So I got them stained and I'm just making my little, like the background of my little frame that we're going to, I'm going to use. So I'm going to line them up right across here with the stain side, of course, down. Ruptured disc. I know lots of people have a lot of back problems. Um, it's, it's very common, obviously. But, and I've tried so hard over the years not to hurt my back. 
and yeah that didn't work well for me obviously but I didn't do anything to hurt it it's just I guess what I did for a living and just aging and all that okay so see here we go the other side is the brown under there you see it <clears throat> so I'm gonna start gluing them on just a little you know and they fit perfectly across here is the beauty of this um they stretch perfectly across our canvas Thank you, Wendy. Hey, Sharon. Oh, stuck to my finger. All right. So I'm just putting glue on each end and we're sticking them down. I love doing the sticks this way. It looks like um, shiplap. That was like one of the first crafts I did was craft sticks in a frame like this, like shiplap, was the, one, was the first craft I did on this page, live. I was scared to death. Oh my goodness, I couldn't do anything for six months? Oh my gosh. Oh my goodness. Got nerve pain for three years, bless your heart. Nerve pain's bad, y'all. It's really bad. It's terrible bad, like, you just sitting there rolling around hurting and there's nothing you can do. Ugh. It's hurting. And you're just writhing in pain. Somebody's got back problems. That's terrible. I feel bad for anybody that's got back problems. Hey, Barb. Oh, oh so you had a surgeon? You had a surgery. Goodness. I hope I don't have to, which he told me that... Um, you know, hopefully that this takes care of it, but if it doesn't, then of course that's what the next step is. I mean, after you've had several um, blocks, obviously, but baseball season, somebody's at the ballpark. Hey, Sharon, welcome to my page. Um, I hope you stick around. There's a bunch of sweet people on here and we get together and craft. Yes, Kelly, it's an eight by 10 canvas frame but you do whatever size you want to because like i said you know i've got these little bitty bird nests that i made where's the tiny is that the, no, where'd it go oh here it is like this small so you could even get away with doing a small you know the smaller canvas um scared to death i got a hundred one point thousand friends i know i got a bunch of friends i've got a bunch of good friends I know, Regina, and that's how I've been the last week. I was like, I, I just couldn't do it. I mean, my family's been taking good care of me and um, helping me out. Stacy had her back fuse. Goodness. Kathy, I'm making, I showed at the beginning how to make these little bird nests out of moss and some glue. And then now I'm making this little frame background thing that we're going to, Put the nest in and we're gonna fix it up cute. Three shots before they would do surgery. Well, I, surgery, I want that to be my last resort, but we're gonna hope and pray that this works. Uh oh. You're intrigued with my craft. Yay, Luann! Okay. Robin, and, oh, she likes to craft with eggs. It's been a huge part of her thing. Okay, so here is my, um, let me get all this glue off of here. Cause see, okay, and I'll show you something too that just happened and so it won't happen to you. And I knew better, I knew better. My glue oozed out under here, like under the edge, the glue did. So I will probably, you can see it, see the, there's, let's see, there's glue where it oozed on the, from the other side. So you'll be careful when you do that. But I mean, it's not really noticeable and you can take an X-Acto knife probably and we can get it off. But just be aware that that happens, that it'll ooze through the other side. And I was just talking and not paying attention, but it's okay. Oh, thank you, Kelly. It's um, just Walmart. Okay, so this is what I have. And you can do this for any craft, guys, and make a background for anything you want to do. I mean, look how cute and easy and simple this was. Perfect. I mean, a Dollar Tree frame of canvas 
and then you've got your sticks. Paint them any color, multicolored, don't matter. It, but it's a cute background for anything you want to do, okay? <clears throat> so now, let's see, I'm going to spill this water if I don't move it. Okay, so now I'm going to take um, some Mod Podge. And I pour, I have a big bottle of Mod Podge. And then I pour it into these little bottles that you get at Dollar Tree. Because then I can just squirt out what I need instead of having to pour that big thing. <laughs> Um, microsurgery. Oh, wow. Okay. All right. So I'm just putting out some Mod Podge because we're going to make a little more, um, a little bit more interest in our, inside of my little box or frame or whatever it is. Um, okay. So I took some book pages just out of, <sighs> sorry, I'm trying to reach it. <laughs> Just out of a pocketbook, okay, um, that I got, you know, at a thrift store or whatever. And I'm just going to put some Mod Podge down and mod, just Mod Podge pieces of book pages. Because I just want it to be a little, have a little um, character to the background. Uh-oh, is it freezing for anybody? Somebody says it's frozen. I hope not. So I'm just putting my book pages down like this and I'm leaving that brown um, kind of around the edge. Whoops. So I'm just putting that down and sticking my my pages down. Uh-oh. No, Kathy. Goodness. Goodness. You've had it all done. All right. So I'm just putting my, I'm just gluing and sticking and gluing and sticking. So it's not froze, I hope. Uh-oh, who's doing mad faces? Got mad faces and people saying that the video's froze. What in the world? Okay, don't reach like that. <laughs> Cindy, you looking out for me? I know, after I reached, I was like, oh, maybe I shouldn't have reached like that. But I'm okay. Okay, Carol says I'm fine. Okay, good. Maybe that person needs to go, go out and come back in and um, they'll be okay. Let me tear that piece off. All right, so this is what I got so far. And like I said, you can do whatever you want to with yours. I just was tr trying to do something in the background to make a little more interesting. I know, Susan, I don't know who's mad. <laughs> the wood pieces are jumbo craft sticks that I put on the back of my canvas. Okay, so I'm just putting my Mod Podge down and sticking my pages. I just sat and tore some today because um, I knew I wanted to do the um, book pages. I love using book pages and, you know, um, what's the, what am I trying to say? Book pages and music. That would be cute. You could do scrapbook paper, newspaper. It would look really pretty. Okay, it froze and you came back and got back in. I don't know. Sometimes it's all wonky. Pom-pom. <laughs> pom-pom makers. I to Linda, I told y'all it was it was addicting to do pom-poms. Um, it is. It's very, it's very. And I'm not done with them either for spring. We're going to do some more with the pom-pom makers because... Um, I was just giving it a rest because I know people were like, oh my goodness, she's doing it again tonight. <laughs> she's doing pom-poms again. <laughs> oh, but I can't help it. That's right, Darlene. But they, they can stay around and be happy because we're all happy here. All right, we're almost done with this part. But you can just do to your background whatever you, you know, whatever you like and whatever it makes an interesting looking background to you that kind of matches your decor. I just like the texture and the, the, I don't know, the difference in the background that it gives. The book pages, I think it just gives it kind of an interesting looking background. Yes, yeah, Cindy, I do, I do too. I like using a hymnal or music or something like that. And the perfect hymn for this would be um, His Eyes on the Sparrow. That would have been the perfect piece of music. And you could probably find that. Um, 
on Google Images or somewhere and print it out and use it in the back of this craft. And that would be really pretty. And I didn't think of that before just now. <laughs> or I would have done it because that would have been awesome. That would have been really awesome. I didn't even think that way. It's just kind of sometimes one idea goes into another and then you, your mind gets going and you're like, oh, look, you do this and then we could do this and we could use this and <laughs> you know how it goes, right? Uh-oh, Vicki don't even want to start because she knows she's going to get hooked on it and then she'll be... <laughs> She'll be making pom-poms and she don't have time for it. <laughs> At least you're honest, Vicky, right? Because that's the truth. Because you, you will. You, you're you going to get started and you'll think, I'm just only going to make one or two. And the next thing you know, you're sitting on the couch and you're surrounded by 25 pom-poms of all the different colors of the yarn that you have. And you're wondering what happened. <laughs> oh, my goodness. That's funny. <laughs> Oh, you're making your pom-pom for your topiary tree? I know it turned out so cute, didn't it? Ten bunnies, two Harveys, a bee, and a chick. <laughs> See, look at Beverly. Beverly is, um, she's admitting that she already has a problem. <laughs> oh. All right, a little bit more, and I'm going to be done with this. Let's see. All right, got my paper. Let's see. Let's put some... I didn't want to go like all the way to the edge and I know y'all are like, well, she just stained those sticks and now she's covering them up with paper. I didn't cover them all the way up. I just did some. Okay, so this is what I have. Just that. Let me put one more piece over here at the corner. So I want that brown kind of all the way around. I'm just kind of going off what's in my brain, I, I guess. That's in my head that I want to it put down on here. <laughs> all right. So I just, I put it all down, you know, underneath the paper. And then I kind of went over all the paper with the Mod Podge. So there's that. Um, pretty easy. But this would be cute for any, uh, any kind of craft you want to do. Um, three birds, two bees, and a rabbit. <laughs> You're Lisa, I know, my, I had a blister right here on the inside of my finger from that yarn pulling through my fingers. So, yes, I understand exactly what you're saying. Um, make sure I don't... See how cute this is? And this would be cute for any, any little craft. And just tear up some paper, scrapbook paper, brown paper, anything. I just like, it just gives it that, a different texture. You could do fabric scraps. All right. All right, drying that. So there we go, there's that. So now we're gonna get into our, our bird, bird building over here. Bird nest building. Well, I gotta do one thing first too before we get to that, because they gotta dry. Um, so, Y'all all probably have these two in your sash. Um, uh-oh. I done dropped one off in the brown paint. Hold on. Oh! <laughs> Y'all you gonna watch me tear everything on the table down. Taking it with me. These little eggs, I dropped it in the brown paint. These are just little... They're gonna go in my nest, okay? But I don't want them purple. <laughs> so, they're just little styrofoam. I think Dollar Tree. I don't even know. I got them out of my stuff from last year and I think I'm gonna do three eggs so I'm gonna paint these really quick um so I'm gonna stick them on my little bamboo skewers skewers I can't even talk <laughs> um Mary you can get them on Amazon and they'll bring them right to your house <laughs> so um this color and I don't know if apple barrel still calls it this but this is called cloudless I just kind of looked through my paint and said, I need like a robin egg blue color. And that's what I picked. Um, so I'm gonna just give these a real quick coat so they can be drying. Cause I don't want my eggs to be green, blue and purple in my nest. <laughs> I don't know what kind of bird that would be. 
Oh, Cheryl, thank you. <laughs> it's okay that you don't like gnomes. Not everybody likes them. It's fine. I don't always do gnomes or pom-poms, but um, tonight I'm just doing a springy, kind of a realistic -y craft. But see, look how pretty that is. And I'll probably do another coat. Just because, you know, the light colors, they don't, they don't cover well. So, but I'm sure y'all have these little eggs in your stash or something in your Easter stuff. Um, oh, good, Sarah, you found it. See, you could, you could do the old hem and then you can probably shrink it down to the size that you need. And that would be pretty in the background of this. His eye is on the sparrow. That would be the perfect the perfect hem. Little funny ornaments on your website. Yes, I've got to do that. I've just been down and I hadn't been able to. Um, hopefully by the end of the week I will and I'm gonna have the store, the shop uh, restocked too with the gnomes and the bunny stuff. And and I have a tear tray set coming out. But like I said, <laughs> last week I just kind of, everything just kind of got to a halt because um, of my back and um, I was doing good the first of the week. And I tried to restock, I did the gnomes, I restocked them again. And while I was feeling good, and then when the stuff, my steroids started wearing off, you know, that's when I started feeling bad. <clears throat> Robin, no, I, I started cutting them today, and uh, I'm going to restock them. Um, yes, Donna, we're going to try to do that too. We're going to speckle them a little bit. I don't want to dry these too much because they're styrofoam and I don't want them to they'll shrivel up. Have y'all ever seen the styrofoam go, <laughs> it'll just shrivel up. It's funny. Yes, Kay, we're going to do that. Hey, Tina, I'm good. I'm better. I'm better. I'm not going to overdo. I'm not. Paula, I promise I'm not. I promise. I know y'all are thinking I am, but I'm not. All right, just trying to dry them a little. Not too hot. <laughs> All right, okay. I'll coat them one more time. Yes, I want them to look like robin eggs. That pretty blue color. This is called Cloudless from Apple Barrel, if that's still what they call it. So, you know, they, they all, they're changing the names all the time. Um, so, this is called Cloudless. But it looks like Robin's Egg Blue to me. And I didn't want to use my favorite turquoise color because <laughs> I use that so much. So, I just went with this kind of a light blue. All right. So I'm going to leave that alone and let it do its thing. They look good to me. All right. So they look good. They don't, two coats pretty much did that. So we're going to let that dry. All right. So it's cloudless. That's the blue I used. And I'm going to post two of the colors that I painted my little gnomes back here that y'all ask about. I just hadn't got to. I keep forgetting about it. All right. So now... That's drying. We gotta speckle them. Um, but here's the eggs I used. They're just, you know, they're styrofoam. But you use whatever's um, proportionate to your nest. Which, if you use the air dry clay that I have, you seen me use a whole bunch of times, you can make your own eggs out of that too, and you can make them any size you want to. Tracy, I packaged them up today. Um, and they'll go out in the morning. Oh, Anita's has a robin egg blue. I don't have that color. Okay. So, this is our frame. So, I did... We're going to use real sticks. Free craft supplies in your yard. <laughs> so, you can go out and... These are some bushes that we had... Uh, that have died in our yard because we had uh, last, last February... We had 12 inches of snow on the ground for a week. And that's abnormal here. So, the... Ooh, there goes a little bug across the... He's on my stick. 
Um, <laughs> and so some of our Indian hawthorns have died because the, um, the snow stayed on them for so long. During that whole week, they died. So we gave them all summer and then to this year to try to see if they'll come back. And they're not. So I went out and got sticks from a couple of trees in my yard. And we are going to use these, let's see, in my our little thing. <clears throat> so these are free. Go out and get you some in your yard. And I'm going to public domain hymns. Let's see. Hey, Dora, it's better. Yeah, I wasn't on last week. That's why you didn't see me. Because uh, my back was hurting. Alright, so I'm just going to break them. And I'm going to lay some just here and there on my... Let's see. On my frame. And get it kind of like I want it to look. Which is kind of hard too. Because you've got these sticks that are... They do their own thing. And they bend their own ways. So, you got to kind of work with them. See, those are my Indian hawthorns that, that are dead. <laughs> See, they got leaves on them and everything. So we got to plant more Indian hawthorns because they died. So I just went out there and got several um, pieces of them because I've got abundance of them. Bugs come in with the freebies. That's right. Little hitchhikers. So he's just been sitting here waiting on the table all day for me to mess with it. <clears throat> So, I'm going to kind of lay them like I want before I get to gluing them down. This one's too long. Made a bird's nest today, and I'm using tree branches to hang my bumblebee. Oh, that sounds cool, Judy. I'm going to see if I can cut some of this off without it flying across the room. Okay, there we go. Now, so you just kind of make a puzzle, I guess. And I'm trying, you know, I gotta make something that my nest is gonna sit on. Um, so, let's see. Just trying to find some substantial ones that can, are gonna stay where I want them to be and not give away. All right, so I think that's how I want it to be, I think. So, I hope. Now, I'm just going to start gluing them down. I'm just going to put a little dot of glue and a dot of glue. Yeah, don't hurt my back, Regina. Y'all are looking out for me, right? <laughs> don't hurt your back cutting that stuff. Judy, you did? Yes, I... We lost... Everybody around here lost their Indian hawthorns. And Indian hawthorns is very common. Um, kind of a... That does not want to do right. Uh, a very common uh, landscaping bush. Because they're very hardy. But um, it did not like 12 inches of snow for a week. So everybody around here lost their Indian hawthorns. We just haven't replaced ours. Because we were trying to give them a chance come back and a couple of them are coming back at the bottom but um but some of most of them are they're not coming back it just it did them in all right so so I'm just kind of tacking my little branches down so this is totally totally free um craft supplies go outside and find some yeah, Lindy's under the weather, bless her. She don't feel good. She's got a little cold, I think. <laughs> it's a little muddy. Hey, Patty, it's good to see you too. All right. That will stay down. Won't stay down. So you can go get you some free stuffs in your yard. All right, stay right there. Alright, I'm going to do this one this way. I'm just kind of trying to build a little, not a perch, but y'all know what I'm saying. I want my nest to sit 
Um, if you cut them back, maybe they'll come back. Well, we just left them alone. And it's been since spring of last year. And they haven't done anything. Some of them have some green at the bottom. So, I think those are going to be okay. But, um, for the majority of them, they didn't make it. So, we're going to have to replace some. So, I didn't figure my husband would mind if I went out there and was picking off pieces of the dead bushes. <laughs> oh, goodness. A platform. Thank you, Alice. Y'all, I can't even think about what I'm trying to say. All right. So, that one's... Trying to see if they're they're wiggling so I can glue them where they're wiggling. Cut the dead parts off. Okay, Lee, I might try that. Bigger sticks in the garage. Yeah, sticks are great to work with. I like to the nature part of all of it. I think it's bring it makes it look more realistic. Alright, I think. Alright, so this is what I have thus far. So here's my little twig platform or whatever you want to call it. So now I'm going to my little nest. Now, if you want to, you can take, as you see, I did stick a twig in here to see if the glue would hold and it did, but you can stick some twigs through here. And now that I'm messing with my nest and, and feeling it, the inside of it is still a little damp. So, um, it'll probably be dry by tomorrow. But, so yeah, it's still, it's still not all the way dry. But you can take some twigs and stick through the moss. Like this. Just to make it a little more, make it look like it's a real bird's nest. You know how it, it's got all the stuff coming out and sticking out and, um, strings and everything else that they collect and put in it if you've ever seen a real one so we'll just poke some here and there and you can glue it if you want to but i'm just kind of running it through the moss and it whoops and it just stays um he loved that dang nest lou you know you got some moss go get you some moss and some school glue and you can have a nest it'll be dry by the morning how did I make the nest? Betty, uh, at the beginning of the video, I showed. Um, here's the one that I made to show you. It's drying, but it's basically school glue. Uh, it looks like a little toupee right now. <laughs> but I used school glue and water. And I watered this down. And then I saturated that the moss, the Dollar Tree um, Spanish moss. I saturated it with my mixture. And then I... Uh, formed it into a nest and I'll sit there and I'll let it dry. Definitely making a nest. Yes. It, I mean, it's so cool. It's just cool. And what screams spring more than a net, a bird nest? Um, yeah. Shreds of paper. Okay. So see, I've got little twigs and does that not look real? I mean, it looks real. Okay. So now let's see, I gotta get situated. I'm going to put my little nest on my twig platform and hope that I can get it to stay. So I'm just going to run some glue on my branches and then I'm going to just mash the nest down on it and let's hope and pray that that's enough to hold it. Okay. So yes, you're going to have to make a nest. I know y'all got moss and you probably got glue. So it's easy peasy. Well, we're not done yet. We still got stuff to, we're gonna make, we're gonna do to this. You can make a half a nest and glue it down. That would be cool. Hey, Gail. Just stick some sticks in your nest. Okay. All right, so here is my nest. Look how cool that looks. Doesn't that look awesome? You thought, Emily thought it was a real nest. Well, I did good making a nest then. And I'm not even a bird. See, look, here's a baby nest. And then here's another little nest. And then the one we just made. Thank you, Joyce. Okay, so here's my little eggs. Um, now I gotta find... I didn't get me a brush, but... 
So I'm gonna take just a regular paintbrush and dip it in some water. And then I'm gonna dip it back in that stain that I used a minute ago. And I need a stiffer brush, but, um, and I'm just going to try to, there it worked, speckle, speckle my eggs a little bit. I hope that doesn't ruin when I go to put it down in here. Um, That was a lot of speckle. See, you can see it. Got a lot of speckle on there, but it'll take a second for it to dry. Um, Linda, I made the nest from Spanish moss and um, school glue and water. And I just kind of mixed it all up together and got it saturated. And then I formed it the way I wanted it to look and let it dry. It's pretty much dry. I've been drying all day. And the middle of it's still a little damp. I can feel the dampness in it after I got to moving it around. Um, <laughs> you like it and you're not even a bird. <laughs> um, so let's see if I can get these dry. And then um, I let it dry pretty much all day today. So, and it's still a little damp. But it's fine to work with because it's not bothering anything. But I don't know if y'all can see my, I got a big splatter on there. But just kind of speckle your eggs to make them look realistic. Um, that one. You made a Barney. Hey, Lyra. Welcome. I know. I love this, just this nesty kind of thing. But I'm not done. We're going to do something else. Let's see. Yeah, I got a little bitty nest I made. and Because, uh, you know, y'all know me. I just couldn't make just one. I had to make, like, three nests. And then I made a nest tonight. So now I've got three more. <laughs> so I'll probably put it on my tiered tray or something like that. Um... But here's my little, now see that little egg, it kind of, it, it shriveled up. I got it a little too hot, but it's okay. <laughs> you get it hot, they just kind of, they shrivel up like a little, like a raisin. <laughs> um, Robin, I wonder, I don't know, you probably could. I, I just would watch it. I'd be kind of scared it would catch on fire. Um, all right, so here's where my, my little, a little, my little eggs, I can't talk, y'all. So I gotta glue those in there. Look how cute this is gonna be. Phyllis, I don't, but it's in my Amazon store. Um, that, this heat tool, it's on Amazon. All right, so now I'm gonna put my little eggs in my nest. Got them down. Put the, I'm gonna put the, the little, it looks like a prune. <laughs> I'm going to put that side down because it kind of shriveled up a little bit. It got hot. All right. And, y'all, this looks so super cute. I can't even handle it. You're going to make a bird. No, Donna, I'm not going to make a bird, but you could make a bird. And, you know, they sell those little stuff, those little, what do they call them, mushroom birds or something that, you know, they sell them at Hobby Lobby and Joann's and all in the floral section. You could definitely... Put you a little bird over here and he would be hanging out. Um, which would be super cute. Or put him on the edge of the nest or whatever. I'm going to do a little something different because I found these at Dollar Tree. Um, one earlier this week. And I was just like so excited when I saw it. So if y'all see these, I was so excited. They had these. And y'all know I love my clear stamps that, that I use all the time. And they had these. And look, this one has a bumblebee and a, it has a ladybug down here. But these are stamps. And I was so excited when I saw these. Um, but look at the birds. I was like, oh my goodness, I'm using the birds tonight. Um, need to get some moss. That's right, So Get you some moss this weekend. You'll have a whole table full of bird nests. So I'm going to, um, y'all know, y'all see me use my little, where is it? Here they are. 
my little clear blocks, you know, and I use the, um, my alphabets all the time. So when I see these at Dollar Tree, I pick them up. I mean, it's awesome for a dollar 25. Um, so I'm going to put a bird in my background. I'm going to stamp him on there. So there's a bird that's got like, this one has berries and then this one is just a bird and then a hummingbird and that one's flying and then that on the little branch, but they're all so, so cute. And they said, it says, enjoy life, beautiful and have a nice day. But for a dollar 25 and I just got these. So if, you know, they just put them out. So they're new. It's not like I, I haven't, you know, I've, I've had them a while. I just got them. But the bugs, it's got the bee and the ladybug. I was like, oh my gosh. Okay, so here's the bird I'm going to use. He's just kind of sitting, sitting on a branch or something. So if you've never seen me use these, this clear block, you can get them at Michael's or, um, I don't know if Joanne's has them, but Hobby Lobby, Amazon. It's just an acrylic block. And that's what holds your stamps on. So you can see what you're stamping when you stamp it. Um, okay, so, and I have these little bitty ink pads. I don't have anything fancy. I've had these for a long time. They come in a set, brown, gray, white from Hobby Lobby, and this one's black. Are you dry? What's the deal? So I'm just going to get my, get my stamp. Act like it's dried out. <laughs> Get my stamp all covered with the black ink. Guess it's about time for me to get a new one because I've had them for a long time. Okay, so I've got my stamp, my ink on there. And then I'm just going to come up here where I, wherever I want to put him. And I'm going to stamp him right on that paper that we put on there. And I hope it does good on the Mod Podge. But this little block kind of helps you press it down. And he did okay. He's not anything fancy. But you can kind of see it there. Nothing great. I'm not exactly excited about it. But it'll work. It'll be okay. It's just a little subtle hint of a bird. Pads upside down so the ink stays on top of the pad. Ah! Oh, that's a neat trick. Okay. So then I'm going to... Y'all know I love to stamp on fabric. That's one of my favorites. Um, so I have this like, y'all seen me use this before too. It's this muslin type material. And I'm just going to tear some like that. Use these big old scissors. <clears throat> you picked up the, oh yeah. Hey, Kathy, you got the ink pads and thing. Well, now you got to look at Dollar Tree for all these cool stamps they put out. Um, I, when I see them, um, yes, Lori, I can stamp with paint too. I might have to try to do him again, but you can see the bird. Black paint instead of an ink pad. Yes, I need to do that. Okay, so I just tore out this. And I'm trying to smooth it out. Yeah, stamps are very expensive, like Tanya just said. Stamps are not cheap. Um, so $1.25 for that whole set, that's crazy because you go to Hobby Lobby and start looking at them and they're $14, $15 for a set of stamps. So when I saw that, I was just like, oh my goodness, that's so cool. So um, like this set of alphabets, I want to say that they're like $15, um, but they'll last you forever. And when they put them on sale, that's when you buy them. Um, so I'm going to spell out using my little, um, that's wrong. Using my letters, I'm gonna spell out the word nest. And so, the, I mean, the, I've had these, like I said, y'all seen me use them before and I've had them for a long time and they last, if you take care of them, they'll last, but I use them you know, when you need them, you just need them, right? <laughs> when you need them, you need them. You just need a little, because I cannot hand letter. I can't, 
uh, my handwriting's terrible, but um, but I can stamp. So, all right, so there's my nest. I know it looks backwards, but um, it won't once I stamp it down. Let's see. Oh, you did stamping up, Brenda? Yeah, it's fun. Stamps are just fun to me. All right, so let's see. But I love to stamp on fabric. It's super cool. So I'm just gonna take it and stamp it right on my piece of fabric I cut and see how that's gonna turn out, I hope. Whoop. Okay, look. So now you instantly have this little piece of fabric with a word on it. And I didn't have to write it myself because I can't. Cause it would look like a two year old did it. Hey Marcia, I am feeling better. Um, they have these letters at Hobby Lobby. Um, I usually take a picture every time I go because everybody goes, where'd you get those letters? <laughs> so I have to show where. Um, so I got my little word nest here. And I'm going to put it over here by the bird. I'm going to cut it, actually cut off a little bit more. But you can just you know, go to town and embellish this thing the way you want to. You could make it say a scripture. You could do whatever you wanted to. But I wanted to use my bird stamp. <laughs> I was so proud. I was like, oh, my, I'm going to use this bird stamp. Let's see. I was so proud to find those at Dollar Tree. So that I just got them, so they probably are just getting them in. Yeah, you wipe the stamps off with a baby wipe. Or you can use, you know, alcohol, whatever. Uh, yeah, this the acrylic, I'll show you in a second. The acrylic block has little lines in it. And it helps you to get it straight. And then you can see exactly where you're stamping because it's clear. So that's kind of the beauty in it. Okay. All right. So the, there's my bird. And there's my little word nest. And yes, I could have just stamped it right on the paper, but I wanted to do it on that fabric because that just gives it another piece of texture or another uh, interest of something to look at. Um, and I think, now I think, I'm gonna do something else that just came to my mind. Let's see. Y'all know how that happens. I've been trying to stay at the Dollar Tree. Donna, is that possible? If you, if you succeed, you let me know, okay? Um, I think I'm going to break off some twigs the same size as my fabric and kind of put it... I got twigs and moss and everything else on this table, y'all. <laughs> and probably some creepy crawlers that are crawling out of my sticks. All right, that one doesn't match. I'm trying to find... One that does. I know, Shell, I can't see the bird very well either. It didn't stamp as well as I wanted it to. And if I sleep on it tonight, I can always come back and put another piece of paper on top of that and Mod Podge it on top and redo the bird. Um, if, I, if I get up in the morning and decide I don't like it, I'm, that's what I'll do is redo it. So it's not ever too too far gone. We can fix it. Because he didn't stamp as well as I wanted him to. Let's see. Alright, so I'm going to take my little sticks. I've kind of cut them. And I'm just going to tack it down. And like I said, you can just keep going and keep embellishing this little piece. However you want. You could have, We could have stopped at just the nest and the, the frame and not put the bird, not put the paper. You could have just done that. You could put fabric in the background. Um, okay, so like I put sticks above my word nest and kind of outlined it. You can do, like I said, whatever you wanna do. You could put, we could put some more sticks up here and give it another, some more interest up here. The nest is the focus. The bird is the background. You go, Lori. Look at you. <laughs> She's like the bird. She's like the bird is the 
background. But if I, you know, if I get to looking at him and I think he needs to be better, I can, like I said, I can just take another piece of book page, put it right over the top. You'd never know he was there. Frame the word nest. Yes, Tracy. Tracy's on the same wavelength that I'm on. She's like, yes, do that. But see, I put another twig up here. We could, we could just keep, you know, adding some more little elements to it. But you got that natural stuff that's free. Y'all, I know y'all all got sticks, so. <clears throat> yeah, the seat, let's see. I could stamp over it again. Yes, I could. But see, what I was saying was, is see how it's got lines in it? The stamp does. The block. And so you line your letters right up on that line. And then when you're stamping down, you know exactly where you're going because it's clear. Um, oh, Sandy, that's nice to know that. I did not know that. I'm not a stamping um, expert by any means. Harvey, Beverly Harvey is sleeping because his eyes are still... Um, His, his, eyes, his eyes are down on the table. <laughs> so if you have these little stick on little pearls from Dollar Tree, they need some, they need hot glue on the back because the sticky stuff um, doesn't last a long time and your sheep's eyes will fall off. <laughs> Let me just fix Harvey right now while we're talking about him. Yeah, you could use paint instead of the ink. You sure could. My stamps are obviously getting old. Okay, there's Harvey. He's back. <laughs> there he is. <laughs> oh, good night, Mary. All right, so I put some more sticks up at the top. You could totally just, you could put some moss. Oh, I do have this. The stamp, Margie, the bird. I got them at Dollar Tree. Look, we got this green moss. I got this from Walmart. Um, thank you, Donna. The little eggs, they are just some from Dollar Tree or somewhere. They're styrofoam. And I painted them. A small bow around the twig. Yes, see? Something cute. I think I'm going to put some... Let's stick some of this. This is like green, green moss. I'm going to put some there. This stuff is like, goes everywhere. This green stuff. It's not like solid like I thought it was. So I'm just kind of poking some there. Whew. Look at that green moss. Oh, that makes a mess. Okay. Look how, see, I put some green on there. Isn't it cute? But you could just literally do so much to this. Put one under the bird for the perch. Oh. Let's see. Yeah, they're styrofoam eggs. Sammy the sheep. <laughs> Judy. <laughs> well, mine's Harvey. Okay. All right, there's my bird. Ta -da. Put him a little perch. But say you could just keep going and keep going and keep going. If you wanted to put a hanger on this, you could do that. Um, I'll probably put mine on an easel or something like that or prop it up. But you could so make this on a small scale. Like, look at this baby nest. This little baby nest that I made. You could do it on such a small scale and do it on a smaller canvas and do the same exact thing that I did. How cute would this be on a tiered tray with... This thing, this right here, but small on a tiered tray. I know, I love the green too. I forgot I had it. It was sitting over here on the table. But y'all, this is so cute. I cannot wait. Sue, are you shaking your hand at me? I see you. <laughs> um, thank you, Barb. Yeah, Jan, that would be cool too. You could put a branch, like a branch up here and hang it from the branch. Oh my goodness, that's so cool. So cool. I'm trying to reach this other stick I got over here. I'm telling you, I have a table full of moss and sticks. <laughs> oh, 
you're from the Netherlands. Welcome. But see, it'd be so cute. Like she said, you could tie your jute or get a bigger branch, of, you know, a big one, and then hang it from that. Oh my goodness, it would be so cute. Um, yeah, red ink, make a red bird. That would be so cute, but there's so many possibilities. But, you know, y'all take it and run with it, because I know you will, and I'm going to see them in the group, and they are going to be so stinking adorable. But it's just so natural, and most of this, well, I had all of it in my stash because I had the moss. I had the eggs from last year. Sticks were free. A book page. Uh, well, the stamps from Dollar Tree, that was... I got that this week, but um, the canvas frame, the, the craft sticks, I had everything in my stash, so I didn't have to, like, go get anything to make this, but these nests, can you can just set them, you know, set, where's my little egg? Just set them on your tear tray like this. It's so cute. Or just anywhere in your little spring decor. If you're not doing bunnies and chicks and all that stuff, and you're doing more of the birds and the kind of nat natural stuff. This is perfect. It's perfect. Look at the baby one. Look. And then here's the one we made that's drying. So it'll be dry in the morning, I hope. He's sliding off. But when, you know, after it dries, you may have to kind of trim it and give it a haircut. I didn't have to do this one, but um, even white blue bead hanger we keep. Yes. The stamp, Sandra, um, the bird ones came from um, Dollar Tree. Um, they come in a little pack. They're hanging up usually where the stickers are, where all the stickers, they're hanging up. And but look at these insects, y'all. It's got a bee and the butterfly. And the, look at the ladybug. Cute. But $1.25, I'm telling y'all, they're... Expensive at Hobby Lobby and Michael's stamps are so expensive and for that much you can't beat it But anyway, so this little nest will be ready tomorrow and see I'll probably put it somewhere else in my decor so like when you have You know, I have like let's say I have this on a table in my in my living room, okay or something then I can have another nest somewhere else in the same room, but it ties that all together. Does that make sense? Because you've got a nest here, and then there's another nest somewhere else, and it kind of pulls everything together. So, I mean, that's a great way to, you know, tie your decor together, especially if you use, like, the same print, like the that paper we did on the bloom sign. If you use that same paper on another piece of decor, it kind of ties everything together. Oh, that'll be good, Nancy, on your windows. But this would be cute on a little window, uh, make a window pane out of the, the frames and put this in the middle or in a wreath. Just, you know, do it all. Think the letter stamps, what size is it? Um, let's see. I wanna say they're half, because we've measured these before and I can't remember. Yeah, they're a half inch tall the stamps but I've um they're just like a typewriter alphabet typewriter um but I know Hobby Lobby has some that are really similar to that because I've had these for years um they're just my staple go-to to, to stamp on books or stamp on whatever um um Susie you can just take the stamps off and put your ink on there and then just press them down Maybe a little harder for you to do that, but um, uh, somebody else might have a suggestion here that's an expert stamper because <laughs> some of them have, have a bunch of stamps. Yes, Jennifer, that's what I said earlier is that you could print off um, his eye is on the sparrow and put it behind here, and that would be absolutely gorgeous. Yes. Yes, Faye, they are. They're pricey on Amazon. Oh, Sherry, you're so sweet. Thank you, Karen. How do I store the stamps? I have a little, um, the little Sterlite drawers. You get at Walmart. They're plastic. They're little drawers. That's what I have these stamps in. 
and these just lay in that drawer. Um, but like these stamps, I will um, clean off Mr. Bird wherever he is. He's over here. I'll wipe him off in a minute and I'll stick, stick him back on here. So they're on like this plastic. So he'll stick right back on here and then I'll put it right back in this little sleeve and I'll put it in that drawer. The clear block. I think I got them at Michael's a long time ago. They come in a set of two. They come in this one. Um, where's my, is there, there's a smaller one too that could, here it is. I'm telling y'all, I got sticks and moss and everything else on this table. It was a set like this. So there was a small one and then there was a big one. It's called an acrylic block. So if you go on Amazon, you can search for acrylic block for stamps or something like that. They should come up, but, um, or wait till Michaels has a good sale. Cause I think I got these at Michaels, but they don't have a lot of stamps nowadays, but, um, I want to make this his eyes on the sparrow. Yeah, Sandy, that would be really pretty and put it up on your piano. That would be so pretty. I love it too, Jennifer. I just love it. I'm just, I'm ecstatic how it came out because I wanted the, I wanted to use my bird. I'm still not sold on the bird yet though. I may have to do it again. You can use heavier plastic to use the stamp. Okay, Carol said you can use heavier plastic to use your stamps and stick the stamps to because they're kind of, um, they're like a rubbery material and they just kind of cling to it. So if, you know, if you can find some that just kind of clings to the stamp, the stamp clings to it, but like this is plastic that they're on, they're just whatever, um, you could probably do it that way. Uh, you, okay, Noelle got her blocks on Amazon. Oh no, Kathy, bless your heart. So anyway, thank you, Cecile. Oh, there were several different size blocks in the pack. So yeah, so mine just had two sizes. Like this is the small one. And you know, you use it accordingly. But I think I got it at, oh, Kathy, I could do that. Um, You know, I, I had to buy the two because they came in a pack together. So, um, but look on Amazon because you might can find them. Judy, I do. Um, I've done them twice. I did them last spring, I think. And I did them the spring before. I know it was May of 20 that I did them. And then I did them this past year in 21. Um, that's a favorite <laughs> is the clay gnomes. So, I've done it twice. Um, Loretta got hers on Amazon. So anyway, so I hope that y'all end up making your own bird nest. And you'll have, like me, you're going to have four or five. Because you're not going to be able to just make one nest. You're going to want to make a bunch of nests to put in your spring decor. And because uh, it's fun. You want to see how they're going to turn out. But I want to get some of those little mushroom birds, you know, the little bitty fake birds. And I want to use them in my decor. Good night, Gayla. Thank you for watching. Um, okay, Hobby Lobby has blocks too, Lori said. Okay, Roxanne said hers came in instead of four on Amazon. So, see, there's lots of places you can get them. I wish Dollar Tree would sell them with their stamps. That would be... Nice. Um, set of seven for 13. Okay, wow, seven. Thank you, Sharon. Night, Judy. All right, guys. Well, I am going to hop off, and I hope that y'all make a nest because I did, and it's really cool. <laughs> I'm so excited about my nest. Heather says you could use the bottom of a clear glass. Now, that's smart. Go ahead, Heather. You just go on ahead with yourself. That's a good tip. Use a glass or a jar. You could use the bottom. Absolutely. That would be cool. Yeah, think outside the box a little bit and not have to spend $13 on blocks for your stamps. <laughs> That's a good tip. 
Where do you get the little burrs you're talking about? Brenda, you know those little, they're little artificial birds. Um, Hobby Lobby has them in the floral section over where all the little um, fairy garden stuff is. And, you know, they call them mushroom birds because they're, they're like, I don't know. Dollar Tree sells them too. They're just little fake birds with little feathers stuck on them. Um, yes, Christy, I can't wait to see what you come up with and put it in the group. But yes, I will be using my nest in my decor for sure. Night, Susie. Good night, Dana. All right, guys. Thank y'all for watching. Thank y'all for all the prayers from my back. And I will see y'all Thursday. And y'all have a good rest of the week. Bye, guys. Love y'all.